Hi everyone, this is David. Let's walk through getting started on Second Life. First you want to click on Play for Free and that takes you to the Avatar Carousel. Move it around until you find an avatar that you can begin with. This is not an avatar that you have to keep the rest of your time in Second Life. There are other avatars you can have and you can also redecorate this avatar as much as you want. Next, try to find a name that is not yet taken. That's kind of hard. Uh, let's see, Johnny B's Cool. All right, we got it. So once you have a name for your avatar, next thing you want to do is to fill in some personal information that Second Life wants. Uh, email address, date, password, and then some security questions. Uh, the only uh, caution here is that you want to represent yourself as at least 18 years old so that you can have access to all of the different areas of Second Life, those for adults as well as children. Clicking on Create Your Account will activate your account. And once activation is finished, you select whether you're going to play the free game or the premium game. Go ahead and do free and then the next thing you do is to download and install the Second Life browser or the Second Life viewer, whatever you want to call it. You will see some different instructions and hints about downloading this thing and what to do afterwards. All you need to know is that the install package is indeed currently downloading and it might take a couple minutes depending upon your connection for that exe file to download to your computer. Because this is an .exe file, depending upon the settings for your firewall in the computer, you might see a warning and you might have to give your computer permission to download this .exe file which installs itself on its registry and that's why you want to be careful with exe files. Once the install is done, all you have to do is double click on the install package and the installation process will begin. Go ahead and do as you usually do to install a piece of software on your computer. I'm not going to go all the way through this since I already have a copy of this viewer on my computer. So I'll trash that install package and go ahead and launch my current viewer just as you would do. When you launch a viewer for the first time, be prepared to wait a little bit longer than you have to normally because it's uploading and preparing things for the first time. Then you get to the viewer's home page and you go up to the top. At the top, you very carefully want to type in your username exactly as you typed it in to register and that means to observe any capitalization or any spaces that you used. And the same thing for your password. It must be typed exactly as it was whenever you registered. The next thing you're going to do is to look in the bottom right area where it says type in location and in that gray box you want to very carefully type national space university and then click on login now second life will do its thing it will load a lot of textures it will load your avatar and your avatars clothing and movements it will also ask you to agree to a certain terms of service and then you will find yourself landing on National University Island. When you first land you'll see that your avatars are kind of amorphous blob. It might take a while for that blob to congeal into a real avatar. When it does press F and begin flying around you might land over here on the National University emblem. It just varies. Regardless of where you land, press F and fly over to Escobar House, kind of on the northeast corner of the island over here. Here's Escobar House, the cherry tree, and land yourself in the chat circle. And once you're in the chat circle, simply left click on one of the pose balls 
and select the command for sit here. Have a seat and when everyone else joins us, we will get started. And I look forward to seeing you there for our first chat.